So I encourage you to set up um, any sort of playlist that you would like, um, YouTube, Spotify, or whatever music speaks to you, um, or just practice in silence with me. All right, we're gonna get started here with the vinyasa yoga in just a moment. Again, my name is Jenna. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, get settled in on your mat. And we will get started here in just a moment. We're gonna start laying on our backs today. So I want you to find a comfortable variation of laying on your back. So you can either take your Shavasana, just laying completely flat, or Supta Baddha Konasana, reclined butterfly. So your options again, laying back flat on your mat. You can lay down arms and legs extended out. This is your Shavasana. Or for your reclined butterfly, bring the soles of your feet together. Let your knees open wide and your arms can either relax down or they can come to a goalpost position or even extend overhead. So settle in here for a few moments as we begin to center and ground down. And again, if you're just joining us, my name is Jenna. Welcome so for this morning's vinyasa yoga practice. Settle into your mat laying flat on your back, however is most comfortable. And if you do start in this reclined butterfly with the soles touching and the knees open and your hips start speaking to you, feel free to extend your legs out. As you come into stillness, take a moment to notice the body. Maybe this is the first time this morning that you're finding stillness. So notice how you are feeling. Notice the mind and if it's racing, notice what thoughts are flooding the mind. Allow yourself this opportunity to acknowledge all those thoughts that are taking up space in the mind, but let them know that they're just going to step away for a moment. This next hour is for you to find a bit of a meditation through this moving practice. So take all those thoughts, file them away to return at 10 a.m. But for the next hour, allow yourself to just be and breathe here on your mat. Taking slower inhales through the nose. Through the nose, exhale. Continue to deepen your breath as you lay here and allow all of your focus to be on the breath. So any lingering thoughts fade into the background, allowing your mind this little break. As you inhale, feel your belly rise first, then your ribs expand, then the chest lift. As you exhale, feel the chest fall, ribs release, and then final core engagement to push out any remaining air. Inhale from the belly, which allows the diaphragm to drop, which allows the lungs to expand in full. And then exhale from the top, working all the way down. Welcome in a gentle restriction along the back of your throat. And this is your Ujjayi breath, that yogi breathing, that victorious breath. This breath will help keep you warm throughout your practice. Every exhale should feel as though you're trying to fog up a mirror, but with the lips sealed. Maintain that vocalization on your inhale. We'll take several rounds of breath here and over these next few breaths, I invite you to set an intention for your practice. And one of the beautiful things about morning practices is that we can really create an intention for our entire day. So if you'd like your intention to be physical and relating to this practice, by all means, go for it. But I encourage you to set an intention that will guide you through the rest of your day. And if nothing's coming to mind, then I invite you to just use the intention of being present, fully immersed in the moment. Try not to skip ahead to the next pose, the next moment in time. Just enjoy this one. We'll take about three more rounds of breath here. Full inhale. Exhale, allow your intention to repeat in the mind. 
two more slow, steady breaths. Really enjoying this moment and enjoying the fact that you can take these full, even breaths, nice and steady. Final inhale. Exhale, slowly begin to hug your knees into your chest. Find a gentle rock side to side and then glue your knees together. And we're gonna start some circles. So circle your knees in one direction, keeping the knees nice and tight together. Create a little circle on your tailbone. And then begin to circle in the other direction, just welcoming in a little bit of movement into the body. From here, bring your knees to a tabletop position. Extend your arms out to goal post or to a T. Take a nice inhale. As you exhale, drop your knees to the left using the core. Move nice and slow. Keep it controlled and then allow the legs to release fully down. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Engage your core. Inhale. Lift the knees back up through center. And then exhale. Drop them over to your right. Slowly with control. Allow them to relax down. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Come back up through center, engaging the core. And then hug your knees into your chest. Let's rock and roll a few times. We're coming up to a Navasana boat pose, finding a balance here right away. Your shoulders will relax back and down. Feet will stay floating up. Grabbing them on four hamstrings or extending your arms forward. Squeeze the shoulder blades back. Lift your heart up a little bit higher. Take a deep inhale, high boat. Exhale, lower halfway down. Inhale, lift high boat. Exhale, lower. You can always plant hands on the floor if you need a little help this morning. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, lower. Or stay holding on to the legs to assist as well. One last one. Inhale, high boat. Exhale, lower. Stay low here. Take an inhale. And then exhale, release onto your mat. Bend your knees, plant your feet flat to the mat. Reach your fingers for your heels. Exhale to prep on your inhale. Lift your hips nice and high, rolling through the spine. Really articulate that movement. We'll take a nice inhale here, lift higher, higher, higher. Exhale, roll down vertebra by vertebra. Try to tuck your hips under, let them be the last thing to touch down. Once more, inhale, tuck the hips, rise all the way up. Pause here. So check in with this bridge pose. You're pressing in with your feet, your leg muscles are strong and activated. Release your glutes as much as you can. And then let's tuck the shoulders under if that feels nice and accessible to you this morning. And maybe you interlace your fingers, press pinkies down into the mat. Take a nice inhale to lift your hips two inches higher. And then release your arms and slowly roll all the way down vertebra by vertebra. Hug your knees back into your chest. Give yourself a little release, rock side to side. We're gonna come into a gentle, happy baby. Let the knees open, feet can reach up. If the feet are seeming a little far away this morning, grab for your calves, anything works. Still the beginning of practice, so your hips might be very tight. Just be mindful, invite in a gentle sway, and work to pull your tailbone back down to the ground. One more inhale. Exhale, all right, let's start some movement. Knees into chest, grab behind your knees, rock and roll about two or three times, and then we're gonna cross our ankles, come into your tabletop position. Roll all the way over, however you need to get there. Adjusting on your mat, nice strong tabletop. Hands ground down into your mat, shins and tops of the feet are pressing firm. So settle in here to your tabletop, and then we'll start some cow cats. From tabletop, inhale, drop the belly, arch the spine, gaze up. Exhale, engage the core, push the floor away, round gaze between your legs. Again, inhale, belly drops. Exhale and round. One more normal cow cat, and then we're gonna spice it up a little bit. Inhale, arch. Exhale to round. Come back to your neutral spine, tuck your toes underneath. Inhale, cow pose, deep, full breath. As you exhale, press into the toes, round the spine, hover your knees. Stay lifted here. Knees are lifted about an inch or two off the mat. Inhale. Exhale. Release your knees down to the ground. Inhale, cow pose. Look high. Exhale. Press and hover the knees. Knees should only be lifted about an inch or two, so if you're lifting up pretty high, I want you to drop down. Engage your core. Take another inhale. 
Exhale, last one like this. Knees release down, inhale, cow pose, gaze up. Exhale, tuck and round, hover the knees, stay lifted. This time, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Our knees are still lifted here. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, shift back. Press into all 10 fingertips, last one. Inhale, forward. Exhale, shift back, release your knees down, untuck your toes, and then pause for a moment. We're gonna take a wrist to stretch this morning. So take your hand, flip it. So the back of the hand is on the mat, fingers face you. Fingers are facing you, back of the hand is on the mat. Nice inhale. Exhale, sink your hips back, stretching through the back of your wrist. Take a full inhale. Exhale. Slowly start to bring yourself up. Keep the fingers facing you, but flip so the palm is on the mat. Inhale. Exhale, sink back, lifting all the way up to fingertips. And we're going to shift back and forth a few cycles. So shift back, shift forward, press the palm down, shift back, let the hands stretch, shift forward. Nice. Bring your fingers to face one another. This is it, last one. Back of the hand comes back down to the mat. So your palm is facing up towards your face. Your fingers are facing one another. And then from here, make a little fist and then a gentle sway side to side. So vinyasa yoga, we do so, so much on our hands and really working the wrists, but we don't stretch them quite enough. So take this time to enjoy this moment. One more inhale, exhale, release, walk your hands forward, shift forward to a modified plank, coming into just three chaturanga push-ups. Nice inhale. As you exhale, pull your elbows back so your upper arm grazes the rib cage as you lower and then press back up. Inhale, exhale, lower chaturanga push-up, lift back up. Last one, inhale, exhale, push up, straighten up, take a deep inhale. Exhale through your chaturanga and then release to the belly. Baby cobra, inhale, lift just the chest. Pause here for a few breaths. Work to really squeeze your shoulder blades together. Your neck is in line with the rest of your upper spine, so do not crank the neck up. Gaze several inches in front of your mat. Take one more inhale, squeeze, lift, lift. Exhale, release. Take your fingers wide of your mat and tense them. So the palm is off the floor. 10 fingertips are touching. Elbows point up, full cobra. Exhale to prep. Inhale, work to straighten the arms as much as you can. Lift the heart and then we lift the gaze. Exhale, roll back down. Let's take that two more times. Inhale, lift. Exhale, lower. Last one, inhale, lift. Exhale, melt all the way down. Hands on your shoulders, tuck your toes, engage the core, engage your legs. Inhale, high plank. Pause here. Check on your ujjayi breath. So find full, steady breaths. Slow inhale, slow exhale. One more deep inhale, down dog as you exhale. Settle in first. Downward facing dog of this practice, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Ground into all 10 fingertips. Notice how the body feels as it lengthens out. So down dog is a very, very long stance. So from your down dog, engage your core. Inhale, shift forward, high plank. Without losing any length, down dog. Again, inhale, high plank. Exhale, down dog. Settle in, walk it out. Keep your hips reaching. High to the sky, keep pressing into all 10 fingertips. Your knees can be bent here. So depending on how the flexibility is down the backs of the legs this morning, your hamstrings, maybe in order to keep a nice flat spine, we need to bend the knees quite a bit. That's perfectly fine. Take one more inhale. Exhale, now we soften the knees. Everyone walk your hands back to your feet and come into ragdoll, grab opposite elbows. Invite in a gentle sway side to side. Relax your neck and head, shake the head no. Nod the head yes. One more inhale. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. We're gonna twist here. Plant your right hand below your face, bend deeply, deeply, deeply into your right knee. Left knee can be bent if you need it to. Inhale, left arm reaches high. 
Settle into this twist. Maybe you can take your half bind here. One more inhale. Twist, twist, twist as you exhale. Release your left hand if you took the bind. Switching sides, left hand plants below your face. Bend deeply into your left knee. Inhale, right arm high. Stack shoulder on shoulder. Take a nice inhale. Maybe you half bind it. Exhale, twist, 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 twist. And then gently begin to release your bind. Hands down. Inhale, halfway lift. Hands slide up to your shins. Engage the core. Lengthen through the spine here if flexibility allows. And you can keep a flat back. Fingers can stay grounded. Stay here. Pull the shoulders back. Take another inhale. Exhale, walk out to your chaturanga. Option to drop your knees lower down. Inhale, upward facing dog. Or if you know baby cobra is what you need this morning, stay with baby cobra. Exhale, down dog. Settle in, walk it out. Full inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look up to the top of the mat, soften your knees. Exhale, walk, step or float the feet if you're ready. Halfway lift, inhale, flat back. Forward fold, exhale, melt down. Ground into the feet, inhale, reverse swan dive, growing so, so tall. Hands come to heart center as you exhale. Roll your shoulders back and down, take a full inhale. Exhale, let your palms come down beside you, setting up Tadasana, mountain pose, nice and strong. Ground down into your big toe mound, the outer edge of your heel. Your legs are strong and activated. The core is engaged, your glutes are engaged, your shoulders squeeze back as the heart lifts higher. Take a full breath, inhale. Exhale, flowing through two sun salutations. Inhale, arms sweep high, gaze follows. Exhale, forward fold, melt down, Uttanasana. Inhale, halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana, shoulders pull back. Exhale, Chaturanga, plant the palms. Step or float back, always the option to drop your knees to modify. Inhale, Urdhva Mukha Svanasana, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog, Adho Mukha. Take a full breath, inhale. Exhale, continue to ground into the hands. Inhale, look forward, soften the knees. Exhale, bring the body all the way up, walking, stepping, floating. Halfway lift, inhale, Arda. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive, inhale, grow tall. Exhale, all the way down, forward fold. Moving right into our second. Halfway lift, inhale. Chaturanga, as you exhale. However you need to flow through. Inhale, up. Exhale, down dog. Deep inhale, full exhale. Inhale, look to the top of the mat, bend your knees. Exhale, walk, step, float. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Reverse swan dive, inhale, chair pose, exhale. So in chair, we're sinking our hips back and down. Your arms can be by the ears if your shoulders are not really having it today. Just bring your hands to heart center. Make sure that when we sink into our chair pose, we're not having an arch of the spine here. So engage through the low abs, sinking back and down, really work to flatten through the spine. Deep inhale, drop your hips two more inches, exhale. One more, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift as you inhale, listen close, just a forward fold to exhale. Chair pose as you inhale, hips low, arms high. So we'll settle back into our chair. Breathe through this, drop your hips down. Ground strong here. Inhale, lengthen the spine even more, sink your hips lower. Exhale, forward fold. All right, halfway lift, inhale, this time we'll flow. Chaturanga on your exhale, plant the palms. You can stop, you can float. Inhale, up. Exhale, back. All right, from your downward facing dog, inhale, lift your right leg high to the sky. Take a moment to stack your hips, bend the knee, drop your ankle. Keep pulling your right shoulder down so we're only twisting through the low spine. And then from there, maybe a few knee circles or ankle circles, whatever feels good to you. Continue your steady breaths. <sighs> Inhale, 
Extend your right leg straight and square your hips. Take a deep inhale, lift the heel higher, higher, higher. Exhale, crunch knee to nose. Pause here, take an inhale. Exhale. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, low lunge, right foot plants, drop your left knee down. Inhale, arms sweep high, back toes untucked. Exhale, hip sink low. Settle in here, get a nice stretch through your left hip flexor. From here, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart and gaze. Allow your chest to open. Allow the arms to pull further back. One more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, sweep high. Exhale, twist to the right. Right arm reaches back, left arm forward. And then start to gaze back towards your back hand. Inhale. Exhale, let your right hand reach for your left hamstrings. Left arm reaches up, gaze to the back of your mat. One more, inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Exhale, left hand plants to the inside of the foot, right arm lifts. Tuck your back toes, lift your back knee. Squaring off the hips down to the ground, twist through just the upper spine and then side plank. Swivel your back heel down, you can end up facing away from you. Press into the left hand and then send your right leg back. Your hips can stack or stagger. Take one more inhale. Exhale, chaturanga. You can always skip the chaturanga as well and just meet us right back in downward facing dog. Settle into your down dog, walk it out, ground strong, deep inhale. Exhale, left side, inhale, left leg sweeps high to the sky. Take a moment here to stack your hips, bend the knee. You can circle just the ankle or circle your full knee. Whatever feels good for you, make sure you're pulling your left shoulder back down. One more full breath. Extend your left leg straight, square the hips, so two hip points facing down to your mat. Inhale, lift your heel a little higher. Exhale, crunch knee to nose. Hold here, shift it forward for the inhale. Stay as you exhale. Inhale, three-legged dog, send it back and up. Exhale, low lunge, left foot plants forward, right knee drops down. Untuck your toes. Inhale, lift up. As you exhale, sink a little bit lower. Get a nice stretch on your right hip flexor. Full breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, cactus the arms. We're going to linger here. So take this time. Lift your heart. Lift the gaze. Let your elbows pull back a little bit more. Take another inhale. Exhale. Inhale, reach high. Exhale, twist to your left. Left arm back, right arm forward, and start to gaze past your back hand. Deep inhale, exhale. Let your left hand fall to the right hamstrings. Right arm reaches up, look to the floor behind you. Inhale, stretch, stretch, stretch. Coming all the way back up, right hand plants to the inside of your left foot. Left arm sweeps up high, back toes tuck, back knee lifts, square the hips. Twist through the upper spine, deep inhale, exhale, begin to swivel your right heel down, press hard into your right hand, send your left leg back. You can stack, stagger, or drop the knee, but we're just here for one breath this round. Inhale, lift higher, exhale, chaturanga, or straight to your down dog. Inhale up, and exhale, down dog. Walk it out, settle down, deep, full breath, inhale, exhale. Walk your hands back to your feet. Let's keep our feet at hip distance here. Halfway lift, inhale, forward fold, exhale. Chair pose, inhale, so feet are hip distance for this one. Hip sink back and down, inhale, sweep your arms back, exhale. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, arms sweep back. We'll add the heels this round. Inhale, arms forward. Exhale, arms back, heels lift. Stay on the toes, heels stay lifted. Inhale, arms sweep up. Exhale, arms sweep back. Ground your heels down, chair pose. Inhale, exhale, forward fold. 
Halfway lift as you inhale, lengthen out. Walk out to your chaturanga, exhale, or walk out to downward facing dog and settle there. We'll always meet in down dog, so if you ever need to skip, feel free. Take a full breath here, inhale. Exhale, we're gonna take the same flow we just did, but add a little spice to it. Inhale, right leg high. Exhale, crunch, knee to nose. Three-legged dog, inhale. Crescent lunges, you exhale. Right foot plants, back knee stays lifted. Inhale, arms sweep high. Exhale, cactus the arms, lift the heart and gaze. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, twist to your right, right hand behind you, look back. Inhale, right hand to the hamstrings, left arm lifts for your exalted crescent lunge. Looking back, exalted crescent. Exhale, left hand all the way down, right arm lifts. I'm gonna rotate, stay where you are at. So option here to take peace finger, big toe grip. As we make our way into our side plank, you can swivel your back heel down, pressing into the hand. If you have peace fingers and big toe, work to extend it up. Take another inhale, lift. Exhale, chaturanga. Flowing through, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Settle back. Take a full breath. From your down dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, crunch, knee to nose. Three-legged inhale, shift back and up. Exhale, crescent and lunge, foot forward. Inhale for your arms to sweep high. Exhale as you cactus, lift the heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, find your twist. Arms wide. Let your left hand fall to the right hamstrings. Inhale, exalted crescent, look back. Exhale, right hand plants to the inside of the left foot. Left arm lifts, stay here for an extra breath, square your hips. And then as we come to our side plank, your choice, you can take a standard side plank, you can modify dropping the knee down, or peace fingers wrap around big toe, press into your right hand, ground your right foot down. As you lift left leg high, take one more inhale, lift, 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 and exhale, chaturanga. Inhale up, and exhale, we'll meet in downward facing dog. Walk it out, settle in here, inhale through the nose, through the nose, exhale. Let's walk our hands back to our feet, soften the knees once again. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Chair pose, hip distance, arms lift, hips sink back and down. Settle in here. You should be able to get pretty deep here with the feet at hip distance. Take another inhale. Exhale, arms back, heels lift. Find a point to gaze at, sink your hips nice and low. Inhale, arms sweep up, stay on your toes. Exhale, arms sweep back, airplane arms. One more time, inhale, arms lift. Exhale, arms sweep back. Ground your heels down, inhale, chair pose. Stay here, sink low as you exhale. Inhale, palms touch, straighten the legs, find a baby back bend. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, walk out to your chaturanga or just to downward facing dog. Settle in. It's your practice, your choice. If you want those extra little push-ups, go for it. From your downward facing dog, inhale, right leg high. Exhale, right knee, left elbow, cross body crunch. Inhale, three-legged dog. Exhale, warrior two. Right foot forward, left heel swivels. Arms windmill, sink low. So as you settle in here, breathe nice and steady. So setting up our warrior two, continue to ground down through the outer edge of each heel. Let your shoulders relax, but keep energy through the fingers. Take an inhale, drop deeper, exhale. Very nice. So you can keep your front heel grounded the whole time or lift the front heel, sink your hips low, flip the palm, inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle, keep your heel lifted. Let's flow through that two more times. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. 
One last time, inhale, reverse warrior, chest rotates up. Exhale, extended side angle, gaze rotates up. And from here, ground your heel down, inhale, star pose. Turn your toes in, exhale, wide leg forward fold. So take a wide leg forward fold of your choice. You can just reach down for the ground. You can walk your hands between your legs. You can reach for calves, ankles, or peace fingers around big toe. If you have an inversion that you'd safely like to move into, feel free to take that here. If you wanna keep moving, but you don't have an inversion, then just plant your hands down, maybe sway your hips side to side, whatever feels good, or find a twist through the upper body. Whatever works for you, your play time in this practice. Settle in here, we'll take about four drinks. So just breathe through it. If you are inverted, begin to make your way back down. If you did something to one side, make sure that you do something to the other side. We'll take about two or so more breaths, deep inhale, exhale, final breath, inhale, exhale, engage through your core, bring your arms out to a T, inhale, lift all the way up, star pose, turn your toes out, exhale, sink down to your squat. Coming into your goddess squat or horse squat, Ground down through the outer edge of each foot to make sure that your knees are pulling back. So feel a little bit of the outer thighs engage to squeeze back, sink low. Very nice. From here, bring your hands onto your thighs. Take a nice inhale. As you exhale, drop your right shoulder down, gaze up past the left shoulder. Settle in for a breath, inhale. Twist, twist, twist as you exhale. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, drop your left shoulder down, gaze up past the right. Keep your hips low, inhale. Twist, twist, twist as you exhale. Come back up through center, inhale, hands to heart center. Sink low as you exhale. Lift your heels and we'll find a balance here for two breaths. Keep dropping your hips low, try to get a nice 90 degree bend. Final full breath. Ground your heels down, inhale, star pose, exhale, set up for triangle. So both legs straight, just rotate your right toes to the top of the mat. Flip the palm, inhale, reverse triangle, reach up and back. And then exhale, extended triangle, come up, stick your hips back, reach your right fingers forward, and then find your tilt down. Your hand can land on shin, or if you continue to melt down, maybe it reaches for the foot for the floor or peace fingers around big toe is your final grip variation. Be sure to pull your upper body back so your shoulders and hips should be in a line. Breath is steady, you can always look down at your body and see how much far, how far forward you are leaning here. And if you are leaning, pull back, back, back. Deep breaths here, full inhale, slow exhale. One more, inhale, exhale. Let your left hand come down. We're rotating to reverse Trikonasana. So rotate so that you're coming through a pyramid pose. So both hips are squared to the front. You're gonna plant your left hand either to the inside, in front of the right foot, or to the outside of the right foot. Make sure your hips stay square. Left, right hand will come to the hip and then start to rotate through your shoulders, extend your right arm high. So easiest left hand position is inside of the right foot. Most challenging is to the outside of the right foot. Stack shoulder on shoulder and settle in to your twist. Make sure that the hips are remaining nice and even here. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale. Plant your left hand to the inside of the left, the right foot if it's not already there. Big step back with your right foot to come with your left foot. One day I'll learn my right from my left. Settle in here to this twist of the low lunge that we were in before. Left hand is grounding down strong into the mat. 
Swivel your left heel down, press in to send your right leg back. You can take that peace finger big toe grip if you'd like. Keep your hips lifting high, maybe you float your top leg. Take one more, inhale, exhale, chaturanga. Or straight to down dog, your choice here. Inhale, lift, exhale, back. All right, so settle in here. I'm gonna switch so my back is to you as little as possible. From your downward facing dog, inhale, left leg high. Exhale, left knee taps, right elbow, cross body crunch. Three-legged dog, inhale. Exhale, warrior two, left foot forward, right heel swivels. Arms sweep up, and then we settle in here. So as you settle in to your warrior two, make sure that your front knee is not pulling in, but pulling out. You want your knees in the same direction as your toes. Shoulders pull down, energy through the fingers. Take a deep, full inhale. As you exhale, drop one more inch. Now you can keep the front heel flat or lift it. Flip your front palm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Flow through this two more times. Match your breath to your movement. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, extended side angle. One more cycle. Inhale, reverse your warrior. Exhale, extended side angle. Very nice, ground your heel down. Inhale, star pose, lift up. Turn your toes in, exhale, wide leg forward fold. So this round you can take the same thing that you did or maybe you interlace the fingers behind the back and pull them away. If you really wanna play with something but you just don't really have an inversion, firefly arm balance. Tidibhasana is the easiest one from this position. You can release your hands down, bend your knees, walk your hands back behind your feet so they press into the floor. You're going to sit on your triceps here, hug your legs into your triceps as you sit back, float your feet up, pressing into all 10 fingertips for your firefly pose. And when you're ready, release the feet down. It's really tricky, you need a lot of flexibility and you need that arm strength, but give it a go a few rounds, see what happens. You really have to scoot your feet forward. Another nice beginner way to get into that is sitting on the triceps and then walk your feet into one another and then you can cross your ankles and work to float your feet up. This is a nice way to start. So we'll stay here for a few breaths. Feel free to play if you'd like. If you wanna stay with some movement, you have your hip dips or spinal twists. Your choice, yogi playtime. Take a few more cycles of breath. If you're doing something to one side, be sure that you've switched. If you are inverted, slowly begin to make your way back down. Or if you're hanging out in your fold, just take another inhale. Slow exhale. Extend your arms out to a T, engage the core. Inhale, lift up, star pose, turn your toes out. Exhale, hands come through, heart center, sink your hips down. Very nice, so this time we won't take our twists, we'll just stay here and lift and lower our heels. So sinking down. Lift the heels, breathe, drop your hips an inch, inhale. Exhale, release the heels. Extend your arms to goal post, inhale, lift the heels. Drop the hips an inch, breathe, gently release. One more time, goal post arms, inhale, lift, squeeze your elbows back, 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 squeeze your ribs in together. Holding here, two more breaths, deep inhale. Full exhale, squeeze your outer thighs, back, 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 one last one. Ground your heels down, inhale, star pose. Set up for your Trikonasana triangle pose. Left foot rotates forward, right foot rotates to the side edge of your mat. Arms come out to a T. Let's reverse this first, flip the palm, inhale, reach up and back. And then exhale, extended triangle, hips reach back. Left fingers pull you forward and then tilt the body down. So let your bottom hand land wherever it is accessible. If you want to have a block and be a lot further up, feel free. If you don't have a block at home, you can always use a book, a water bottle, a wine bottle, whatever you have lying around. 
Reach your top fingers straight up. Two more breaths. Inhale. Keep pulling the upper body back as you exhale. One more deep inhale. Full exhale. Inhale to prep. Let your right hand come down as you exhale. Rotate your hips. Maybe step your feet a little wider apart so that they're more on railroad tracks instead of a tightrope. Square your hips off. Sometimes it helps to plant a hand to check the, how the tailbone's doing if it's flat. From here, right hand plants to the inside, on top or in front, or to the outside of your left foot. And then bring your right hand, left hand to the hip, and then slowly extend straight up. So as you settle in here to our revolve triangle pose, really work to keep your hips even as you twist through the upper body. Take a full breath, inhale. Full exhale, twist, twist, twist. Gently release, take your right hand to the inside of the left foot. Step your right toes back far so you can sink down into our lunge. Left arm is lifting high. Settle where you are, I'll switch again. And then swivel your back heel down. Side plank, press into your right hand to send your left leg back. You can take that peace finger big toe grip again or stagger, stack, drop the bottom knee or float your top leg up. Take one more inhale, lift, lift, lift. Exhale, chaturanga and flow. Final chaturanga of practice. Inhale, lift. Exhale, back. Nice work. To finish us off here, release your knees down to the ground. Come all the way up. We're going to end with a camel pose. Nice deep heart opener before we stretch. So take a breath. Inhale. Bring your hands to the back as you exhale. Hands come to your low back. Fingers can face down or up, or you can take fists into the lower back if you'd like. Squeeze your elbows tight, tight, tight together. Engage your low abs, so we're lengthening up through the spine. Press the hips forward. Inhale, lift your heart. Look up. Exhale, keep going back. Maybe you pause here, looking right up at the ceiling. Make sure the hips are forward, the heart is high. If you're going further back, that's fine. Continue to breathe if you'd like to. If you see your back wall, you can take right hand to the right heel, left hand to left heel. Lift the heart high, press your hips forward. Deep inhale, full exhale. One more breath here, inhale. Exhale, bring your hands to low back, lift all the way up. Sit back onto your heels, let your palms rest. Face up on your thighs. Shoulders pull back, spine is long, full breath, inhale. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale, go ahead, roll your wrists a few times. Sit to one side of your feet, swing your legs out in front of you. All right, let's get into some stretching. Extend your legs forward, flex your toes back. Tall, tall spine here. Inhale, sweep your arms high. Lead with the heart as you exhale, find your forward fold. So you can certainly grab for your feet, but if that's not really accessible, grab your calves or even just the mat. I want you to focus on a flat, flat back. So. Instead of sinking back and rounding back here, sit up nice and tall, maybe sit onto a block or a pillow, and then just find a small hinge forward. You might only lean an inch, but keep flexing the toes back towards your face, or you might come all the way down. Slow your breath here. Full inhale. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale as you sink, sink, sink. Slowly bring yourself all the way up. Let's go ahead and take butterfly soles of the feet together, knees open wide. So in your butterfly pose, start with grabbing the ankles. Pull your shoulders back. Lead with the heart. Inhale. Exhale, find your hinge forward. Elbows can press your thighs open. And again, we want to try to keep a nice flat spine. So instead of sitting back here and tucking and rounding, Find a nice tall, tall spine, sit on a block or a pillow if you need to and find your hinge forward. And you can also just roll up a blanket and sit on that for a little cushion. 
We'll be here for about three breaths. I want you to really use, use, use those elbows to press your thighs open. Settle in right here. I'm just gonna tilt my camera down just a little bit more. Keep your breath nice and steady. So in butterfly, Baddha Konasana, elbows gently helping your hips to open as you pull the body forward. One more full inhale, slow exhale. And coming into everyone's favorite stretch, wide leg forward fold. Open the legs as wide as they'll go today. It doesn't have to be very far. Again, you can always sit onto a block, a pillow, blanket for a little elevation. Sometimes that height just helps soften in the hips and helps you get just a little bit deeper. From here, I'm wanting to focus on toes, pointing straight up to the ceiling the whole time. Take an inhale, lift the heart. Exhale, start to walk yourself forward, just step by step, hinging here. As soon as your toes start to forward fold, they don't wanna forward fold. So bring them back, lengthen up a bit. And as long as you feel a stretch in your body, you're doing it right. You don't have to be all the way down. You can be nice and high, you can have your feet on a very, very narrow V. That's fine, if that's where you're at today, that's where you're at today. We're gonna take about six slow breaths here. So if we take these breaths as slow as we can, it should be about a minute. Deep inhale. Slow exhale. So continue your breath, try to get about a six count inhale, six count exhale, and let the mind be focused on that. So maintain that meditative mindset in this practice, even as we come into stretching. This is usually when the mind starts to race and we start to get all hectic, which is why a lot of people don't like this stretching portion. They don't like to sit alone with their thoughts. It is a challenge. So keep the mind focused on breath and that'll really help you to subdue any thoughts that try to make their way into your mind. Give yourself one more full breath. Inhale. Slow exhale. Slowly begin to walk yourself all the way up. Go ahead, shake out your legs, bring them to close, align your heels with the very top edge of your mat. And before we lay back, so make sure you have the space to lay back, we're just gonna take one more little bit of core work here. So with the legs out front, you're gonna plant your hands. So my knees here, my hips here, you're gonna plant your hand a little bit closer to your knee. Take a nice hinge forward here, spread your fingers wide, engage through the core, inhale. Exhale, press into the palms, lift everything up, and then release. It's okay if your heels don't lift. Just find that engagement through the low abs, your hips scoop back and up, and you press so, so hard with the hands. Squeeze the legs nice and tight together. We'll do this two more times. Inhale, hinge forward. Exhale, press and lift. Gently release. Last one, we'll intentionally keep the heels down this round. So. Hinge forward, inhale, exhale, keep your heels down, lift your hips up. From here, lift the right leg, hold for a breath, release. Lift the left leg, hold for a breath, release. All the way down, roll your wrists, make sure you have space behind you. Extend your arms forward, shoulders back, deep inhale. Slowly lower flat back for a count of eight. Shoulders pull back for seven. Lift the heart higher for six. Keep the legs engaged for five. Deep inhale for four. Lay back a little more for three. We should all be hovering here for two. And on one, let's release. Bend your knees, plant your feet flat. And then windshield wiper your knees right and left. Give yourself a few cycles just to soften, loosen up through the hips. Loosen out any uh, tension that built in your hip flexors. And then we're just gonna take one bridge. If you're feeling really open and you wanna go into your wheel, by all means, feel free. 
Bring your hands by your ears if you're going into your wheel pose. I want you to inhale to prep, exhale to push up. If you're staying with bridge, let's exhale to prep. Inhale, tuck the hips and roll up nice and high. So if you are in bridge, tuck your shoulders under and work to interlace your fingers. If you are in wheel or bridge, press so hard with your leg muscles, your hips push forward. And if you are in your wheel, your back bend, then I want you to press so hard into the mat that your shoulders start to stack over wrists. Keep pressing, expand through the front body here. Breathe nice and steady. One more full inhale. Tuck and roll down as you exhale. Hug your knees into your chest. Find a gentle rock side to side. And then start to circle your knees in different directions. So at the beginning of practice, we kept the knees hugged together nice and tight. Allow them to be separate during this circling. And just loosening up. And then hug your right knee in. Extend your left leg flat onto the mat. Take a nice deep inhale here. And then exhale, hug your right knee over to the left side. Extend your right arm out straight or goal post. Make sure that your shoulders are remaining flat to the mat and you're only twisting through your mid to low spine. So both shoulder blades should be touching down. Drop your chin over your right shoulder and allow yourself a full, full inhale all the way. Exhale. One more, inhale. Exhale. Bring your gaze up to center, slowly begin to unwind. Hug both knees into the chest and gentle rock side to side. Use this to lengthen out the spine. And then keep your left knee hugged in, right leg extends out flat. Take a nice deep inhale. As you exhale, left knee pulls over to the right side. Extend your left arm out straight or goal post. Make sure that your left shoulder, though, is flat onto the mat. So I'd rather have you keep your knee in the air, shoulders flat, then touch your knee down and left shoulder lifts. You can always slide a block or a pillow or a book under your knee if you'd like a little support if it's hanging out in the air. Make sure your chin falls over the left shoulder just for a little extra twisting all the way through the upper spine. Check on the quality of your breath here and just take two more slow, steady breaths. Really enjoying this moment, enjoying the opportunity you have to wring out the body to flow and to breathe and to not have to worry or do or think about anything else. Gently bring your gaze up to center and slowly begin to unwind your spine, hug your knees into the chest and after another little rock side to side, let's take happy baby. Open the knees as wide as they will go, hugging the ribs as best as possible, send the feet up. Grab for the soles of the feet, or again, if that's still a little far from uh, you, just grab for your calves. Make sure that our hips don't lift up. If they do, pull them back down. We want a nice flat spine here. And then a gentle, comforting sway side to side. Relax your forehead. Relax your cheeks and jaw. Let the neck be soft. Allow the body to be heavy on the mat as you rock. From here, maybe you extend one leg straight and bend it back in and then try the other leg. If you have a full straddle or if you're working on that, feel free to work to try to straighten the legs. And take one more inhale, exhale. For our final pose here before our little Shavasana, we're gonna take waterfall. So I want you to extend the leg straight up, create a capital L shape in the body. If this straight legs is not accessible to you. You can have the knees bent. If you're close to a wall, feel free to scoot up to a wall. We are only going to be here about a minute, though, before we take a Shavasana. Your arms can relax down beside you, goal post, maybe even a diamond shape overhead for a nice little chest opener. 
but settle in wherever feels best for you and we'll take about six slow slow breaths try to get that six count inhale six count exhale and use this opportunity to soften through the body where do you need tension? Where do you not need tension? We so often carry tension along the spine, lower back or upper back, and the neck, and the jaw, clenching the jaw. So yes, our legs are doing a bit of work, core is doing a bit of work, but other than that, the rest of the body should be soft. We'll take one more full breath here. Slow inhale. Slow exhale. Hug the knees into your chest. Wrap your arms around your legs and bring your forehead up to your knees to give yourself one final bit of muscle engagement here, squeezing everything nice and tight, but also more importantly, to give yourself a big hug for showing up for you, for gifting your body and your mind this hour. Take another deep inhale. Exhale, release and melt into your final Shavasana. We won't be here for too, too long. If you're listening to music, I definitely recommend finding something gentle to listen to during your Shavasana. Otherwise, soften the forehead, allow the jaw to release and the tongue to fall from the roof of the mouth. Let the neck be soft as the shoulders relax and the arms become heavy. On your next exhale, feel the chest release as the core and the glutes soften and the hips relax. Let the legs be heavy. And all 10 fingers and all 10 toes soften. Enjoy this final rest. I will wake you when it is time. Any time that you find the mind thinking Notice where it goes, notice the thought, but then refocus on breath. Let breath be your anchor to that meditative mind space. Begin to deepen the breath. Bring small movement back into the body through the fingers and the toes. Roll the wrists, roll the ankles. Rock the head side to side as you move the jaw. And then when you're ready, inhale, send your arms high overhead for a good morning stretch. Stretch a little to the right, a little to the left. Squeeze the legs and point your toes. Take another inhale. And exhale, row onto the side of the body as you find your fetal pose. For just a moment, take a breath and gently press up into a comfortable seat. Cross your legs, find a nice tall spine, allow your eyes to close here. And then slowly bring your hands to heart center, roll your shoulders back and down and take this moment right here for you. Take this moment to say thank you to you for all these little things you do to better who you are for showing up, for starting your Monday morning or whatever time it is that you're watching this with an hour of yoga practice. It better is not just the physical body, but your mental health, your mental well-being. So 
find gratitude for yourself and continue to find gratitude throughout your day for yourself and for others. With your thumbs pressing into your heart space, know that the love and light in me sees, respects, and appreciates the love and light within you. Namaste. Thank you everyone so much for joining me. Again, my name is Jenna. It was a pleasure to guide you. Let me know if you have um, any questions or comments and I hope to see you all soon. Thank you so much. Namaste everyone. Have a wonderful day.